so it's uh, Tuesday. I've had a, an update from Tesla again today. I've had one every day since uh, really my car has uh, been in and they've actually been working on it. So since I had the conversations with the, the guys in the service centre and informed that I'd like to be kept, kept up to date more frequently, frequently, they have done that, they really have. So where are we with the, with the car? Well, uh, they've basically stripped all the front end of the car out. They still believed as of yesterday it was the wiring loom. Uh, but they've had a they've called me today and they believe now that it is something to do with a fuse that's linked to part of the charging system and I'll find out a little bit more in detail when they've actually completed the job what they're going to do as well is they're going to have a look at the wiring loom uh, that they've only experienced one more at this this service centre in Manchester so when they said it was quite a rare, rare uh, occurrence, it is, but they were actually talking about the service centre and not Tesla in general. It looks like there are a few cars now that are developing the similar sort of issue. So, they're going to go on, is they're going to get the uh, fuse changed to make sure that's fine, and then they're going to make sure the, uh, the wiring loom also is in a good state, then we don't have to take the car back to have a second uh, visit. So, Am I, am I liking the P100D? Well, one of the interesting facts is, you know, the, the P100D, although it's a, you know, a fantastically fast car, the good thing is, to all intents and purposes, it's the same as my car, uh, shape-wise and everything. The way it drives, other than the acceleration, it's an identical car. So, when mine is 60, 62, 63,000 pounds in, um, in total cost of the vehicle, I've obviously got mine on a, on a lease. For the P100D, you're looking at double pretty much for the price of the car. Well, what's the differences? Well, I believe so far that there is a, a higher spec, higher capacity motor on the, the, rear, the rear end to generate the, uh, the power. Um, I think, yeah, it's got red brake calipers on. I think they might be slightly larger uh, than mine, but it's got calipers, uh, red calipers on the front. And a, a carbon fibre rear spoiler on the back end. So there are subtle differences in terms of look at the car, but the real big thing is the, the power of the, the motor and the battery alongside it. Yeah, I've got a 75 kilowatt hour motor, uh, battery uh, in my car. The one on the P, P100E is obviously the 100 kilowatt hour battery, but uh, when I get by and back, I'll actually have a look at the battery pack to see what the battery pack is on my car to see if it is like a, a 75 or a 90 or even a 100, we'll see. But I'll do that when I get back. So have I really used the potential of the P100D? Well, it's, it's good for frightening people in terms of acceleration and getting the response when it throws you back in the seat. Uh, and you do have to make sure uh, when you're doing that that you've got your head against the headrest because uh, it can jaw your neck a little bit but the rest of it is it just feels like my car, car which I, uh, I like as well so yeah I'll keep you updated so far they're looking to say that I'm probably going to get my car back between um, Christmas and New Year so around about the 26th 27th time something around about that um, but the beauty is, yeah, I'll get mine back. I'll be really glad to get mine back, but it won't feel any different than driving that outside. Uh, but yeah, so again, try and do some more videos as we go along. If you like the video, please get it, give it a thumbs up. I'm getting uh, quite a few uh, people watching the videos now and subscribing, which is excellent. Give comments as well, and again, feel free to use my uh, my referral code and to get your free supercharger for life when you have the car. So again. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.